Uh, first responders raising new concerns over the challenges of fighting fires from electrical vehicles. This stemming from an incident over the weekend, prompting first responders to use a tool that has not been used in this type of situation before. News 10's James De La Fuente shows us. Electric cars come with their own set of unique problems, and that's where these blankets come in. If, if that vehicle did reignite, it's a way to contain that fire. I mean, not allow it to spread to any other vehicles or any other exposures that may be present, you know, around that vehicle. Victor Graves, fire protection specialist for the Office of Fire Prevention and Control, explains how the quick process works. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to, uh, you know, the, the vehicle fire will probably will be knocked down with a hand line to make it a little safer to, to, to approach there. Um, once they've decided that they're going to deploy the blanket, they're going to to set it up so that the wind is at their back so they can use the wind to help push the smoke away. Um, once they do that, they're going to spread the, the blanket out. Um, the, the blanket is designed to be uh, deployed by a minimum of, of two firefighters. They're just going to grab the two handles there and basically just drag the blanket over the top of the vehicle. Once the, the vehicle is covered, um, at that point, they're going to go around and they're going to tuck the blanket in underneath the vehicle um, with the purpose, again, of what we talked about, that's the suppression of, of the vapors and the suppression of, of, of oxygen going in, inside there. Once it's on and once it's tucked in, you know, that vehicle is as safe as we can make it at that point. The price for battling electric car fires can be high. Fire officials say it takes tens of thousands of gallons of water just to put out an electrical vehicle fire. And then there's these blankets. They cost about $1,100 a piece and can be used once. However, Joe Ernst, owner of KJ Stearns Towing, created another option. We call it BIBS, Burn Isolation Box System. Ernst has a patent pending on his box. Instead of suppressing the flames, it allows it to safely burn itself out. The venting on the bottom, it directs, it allows the flame to go straight up and it takes the heat away from the, from the sidewalls. Oh, okay. So it actually, when we put the vents in, we, when we did our initial test, we had one side vented and one side non-vented. The non-vented side was extremely, it was twice the temperature of the vented side. Fire officials say that the box can protect just about anything else from catching fire. The cost for a bibs is about $30,000 and they last a lot longer. I would say 20 years easy.